Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. We celebrate today this Vigil Mass of Sunday, which uh, this year, be, uh, being New Year's Day tomorrow, is the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. We dedicate this first day of the calendar year to our Blessed Mother, and we consecrate our entire year to her. On this day also, we remember to pray for the repose of the soul of um, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who has gone to his rest, we ask the Lord to bring him to his eternal reward. But let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Aaron and his sons. This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, be gracious and bless us. O God, be gracious and bless us. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. O God, be gracious and bless us. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. O God, be gracious and bless us. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. O God, be gracious and bless us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, 
to redeem the subjects of the law and to, to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, the Spirit that cries, Abba, Father. And it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave any more, and if God has made you son, then he has made you heir. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. At various times in the past and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets, but in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear these few words about our, our Blessed Mother Mary from the Gospel of Luke today regarding all that she had seen and all that she had heard, all that she experienced. And we are told that she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. If ever there were words which were so loaded and so filled with immense possibility and depth, it is these words, for what must it mean when our Blessed Mother ponders them in her heart, these most beautiful mysteries she has seen as she gazed upon the infant child placed in her arm in that um, manger, the nativity that uh, we're all so familiar with having celebrated Christmas. We're given such great insight into the experience of Mary and Joseph in what Anne has written in Suspended in Mystery, the series called uh, Paradise of Gratitude. And the Blessed Mother clearly gives of the pondering that she did in her heart and all that she had thought about and prayed about as she gives us insight into what it was like in those days as she held the infant Christ in her arms in the cave or in the stable. We uh, scripture scholars will debate over exactly what it was or where it was, but well, there were animals kept there, we know that. Traditionally, we call it a stable, but a cave, she refers to it in this writing in, uh, in Suspended Mystery, A Paradise of Gratitude. So she asks Anne in this uh, few lines, and it's very hard really to pick what one would take out of this because it's all so rich and beautiful. But anyway, she paints the picture of what it was like. She said, do you see the things around me, Anne? So she asks Anne this question as she shows her. My few blankets and clothes? That was all I needed. For me, moving to another place could be accomplished in the shortest time because we owned so little. We could be seen as living in poverty. But do we look impoverished? Of course we do not look impoverished. Our delight in each other, our state of gratitude, ensured that we rejoiced in each day and in each moment. 
And so the Blessed Mother describes very succinctly the attitude that she and Joseph had towards the situation they found themselves in. It was not a mentality of impoverishment or of discontent, but rather they, she refers to their delight in each other, their delight in each other. And then the state of gratitude that they had ensured that they rejoiced every day in every moment. Now, that's of course given to us to take on and to emulate the poor family in the stable, in the cave, in the place where the animals are fed, are not impoverished, but rather they rejoice in each day and in each moment. That's what we're, of course, given to do here today. And in the life that Mary and Joseph had, we also get insight here into the uncertainty that they lived in their lives. And so it was, Mary said, we chose God's will, and through that choice, we agreed to uh, uncertainty as a style of life. We existed with uncertainty because living a life reliant on providence means that God is choosing the details of the days. And so it was, she describes them living with uncertainty in life as a style of life. We hear of those words, a lifestyle or a style of life so often nowadays, but we would never associate uncertainty as a style of life that we would choose and of course we as ones also who rely on the providence of God are, are called upon also to embrace a lifestyle that is one of uncertainty. And so it is she asks the question about us all following her example and that of St. Joseph. She said, can people learn from our example though? Would the ability to rest peacefully into uncertainty be of benefit to people living in the world today? I believe so, and it is for that reason that I am offering this insight. And so they are there were given the challenge to rest peacefully into uncertainty. There are so many uncertainties, and there were so many uncertainties during our time of pandemic over the past couple of years, when people looked to the government and to authorities for certainty about things which they could offer no certainty. But we, as followers of Christ, and as ones who hold our Blessed Mother Mary in the greatest of esteem, she who is the first Christian to ponder all these things in her heart, we're given the challenge to rest peacefully into uncertainty, peacefully being the most important word. So now we profess our faith in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now bring our prayers and our needs to our Heavenly Father. We pray for Pope Francis, for Bishop Martin, for Anne, and all of us apostles of the returning King, that we, after Mary and Joseph's example, may learn to rest peacefully into the uncertainty that life brings us and that we may exercise trust in the extreme in the face of all these uncertainties. We pray for all of your most special intentions that you've submitted to be prayed for here at the Soul Sanctuary, that God may look generously on these We pray for the repose of the soul of our beloved Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, that God may bring him to his eternal rest, and through his intercession we ask many blessings upon the world and the Church. We pray for those who are sick, those whom we know who are ill, at home or in hospital, awaiting test results, suffering physically or mentally.
For all who have died, we ask mercy. Heavenly Father, look kindly on all these prayers we make in faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfilment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Martin our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that by the, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. For those of us who cannot now receive Holy Communion, we pray together our prayer of spiritual communion. Dear Jesus, I recognize you in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. Please come to me now so that I can rest in your presence spiritually, as I cannot receive the Eucharist physically. I love you and I thank you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. We bow our heads now and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity of faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue now with adoration here at the Soul Sanctuary and look forward to being with you the next time we stream from here. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, All praise and all thanksgiving Be every moment thine.
Come adore this wondrous presence, bow to Christ the source of grace. Here is kept the ancient promise of God's earthly dwelling place. Sight is blind before God's glory, faith alone may see his face. Glory be to God the Father, praise to his eternal Son, adoration to the Spirit, bond of love in Godhead one. Blessed be God by all creation, joyously while ages run. Amen. You gave your people bread from heaven, and all who ate were filled with gladness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Thank you for joining with us now for Mass today, for Mass and Adoration. See you again next time. God bless you.